Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the May 11th, 2020 legislative session of the Salisbury City Council. I'd like to call the meeting to order. At this time, uh, I'd like to observe a moment of si silent meditation or prayer. Thank you. At this time, I'll call for a motion and a second to adopt the legislative agenda. So moved. So second. Mr. Boda made a motion. Ms. Jackson seconded. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Mr. Boda. Aye. Ms. Jackson. Aye. Ms. Blake. Aye. Mrs. Gregory. Aye. And the chair votes aye. Vote is 5 0. I'll entertain a motion and a second to adopt the consent agenda. So moved. Ms. Blake? Second. Mrs. Mrs. Gregory? No, Ms. Jackson. Ms. Jackson, sorry. <laughs> I couldn't see you. <laughs> Good evening, Mrs. Nichols. Kim? Good evening. How's everyone tonight? Fine, thank on the you. Consent, on the consent agenda tonight, we have the April 27, 2020 legislative session minutes, the May 4, 2020 special meeting minutes, and the May 4, 2020 work session minutes. And that concludes the consent agenda for tonight. Any questions or comments? Mr. Boda? No comments. Ms. Jackson? No comments. Ms. Blake? No comments. Mrs. Gregory? No comments. Hearing none, I'll call the motion. All those in favor of the consent agenda, please signify by saying aye. Mr. Boda? Aye. Ms. Jackson? Aye. Ms. Blake? Aye. Mrs. Gregory? Aye. And the chair votes aye. Vote is 5-0. I'll entertain a motion to approve resolution number 3032. So moved. So Second. moved. Ms. Jackson, Mr. Boda. Ms. Glanz, good evening. Good evening, council. Resolution number 3032, a resolution of the city of Salisbury, Maryland to authorize the mayor to sign an agreement with Wicomico County to provide municipal water service to the Salisbury Ocean City Wicomico Regional Airport. Whereas the Salisbury Ocean City Wicomico Regional Airport seeks to obtain municipal water service to expand their operations and attract industry associated with the airport. And whereas the council of the city of Salisbury supports the extension of municipal water services to Salisbury Ocean City, Wicomico Air Regional Airport. And whereas Wicomico County has contracted for the design and construction of the water system to serve the airport. And whereas Wicomico County has secured funding and is responsible to pay the loan associated with construction of the water system. And whereas the attached agreement defines the responsibility of each party in regards to the water system. Thank, thank you. Any questions or comments, Mr. Boda? No, I'm, I'm glad that this uh, is moving forward. I'm glad that the county council uh, has uh, supported this and we are grateful uh, that this is going to be a, a very positive impact for the economy uh, in our region as they're able to expand the airport. So I support it. Thank you. Ms. Jackson? Um, yes, I'm, I'm, I can piggyback off of here to some point, but I am on the airport commission and I thank Calvin Peacock for being so persistent and constantly staying on the commission and working with us and giving us all the information that we needed in reference to this. And it's a good thing now the um, airport can move forward. Thank you, April. Ms. Blake. You're welcome. 
Uh, the only comment I have is I'm, I'm very impressed um, with the collaboration and, um, and I'm glad we're moving forward. Thank you, Mrs. Gregory. Uh, no comment other than, you know, whatever, reiterate what everybody else has already said. Just glad this is happening. Thank you. Um, I too am glad this has finally come to us. Uh, it's been a long time coming and I think I said in a meeting earlier today that I, I believe that this is one of the most important things for the economy in the area that we've done in, in many years and I'm pleased to be uh, a part of it. We'll now call the motion. All those in favor of resolution number 3032, please signify by saying aye. Mr. Boda. Aye. Ms. Jackson. Aye. Ms. Blake. Aye. Mrs. Gregory. Aye. And the chair votes aye. The motion passes with a vote of five to zero. This evening we have a, a public hearing on charter amendment resolution number 2020-2 presented by City Administrator Julia Glams. So Charter Member oh, Resolution. Oh, wait, I have to call for a motion first. Sorry, got excited. No, no. <laughs> that's, that's okay. Uh, I'll entertain a motion <clears throat> and a second to um, approve. So moved. Second. The approval is Ms. Blake, I believe. Yes. Okay. Yes. And Ms. Jackson seconded. Correct. Yes. Okay. Ms. Glantz, please, uh, please read the charter. Thank you for that introduction. <laughs> uh, charter Amendment Resolution Number 2020-2, a resolution to amend the Charter of the City of Salisbury, Maryland by deleting the maximum tax rate described in Section SC7-35 of Article 7. Whereas Section SC7-35 of the city, Salisbury City Charter establishes a maximum property rate of 76 cents per 100 valuation for all general purposes other than, other than for servicing bonds. And whereas the City Council of the City of Salisbury has determined that it is in the best interests of the citizens of Salisbury that the maximum tax rate be eliminated. Thank you. Any questions or comments, Mr. Boda? None. Ms. Jackson? None. Ms. Blake? None. M Mrs. Gregory? None. All right, I will uh, now open the public hearing. Uh, anyone that wants to speak, well, the way we're going to proceed is you will be recognized by Ms. Glanz, then uh, Ms. Nichols will swear you in individually, and then you can make your four minute comment. And uh, we're happy to take those now. So anybody that would like to speak on this topic, charter resolution number 2020-2. So if anybody would like to, they can just type their, um type in the chat or unmute themselves but i don't think we have anybody okay last call for anyone who wants to speak on this item hearing none uh i will now close the public hearing and i will call for a vote to approve car 2020-2 all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Mr. Boda? Aye. Ms. Jackson? Aye. Ms. Blake? Aye. Mrs. Gregory? Aye. And the chair votes aye. The vote is 5-0, passed unanimously. We have another public hearing tonight on the John Deere Drive Milford Street Associate Property Annexation which will be presented by Ms. Glanz. I'll call, call for a motion in a second to approve resolution number 2875. So moved. Second. 
Ms. Blake, Mr. Boda. Ms. Glantz, will you please read the resolution? Resolution number 2875, a resolution of the city of Salisbury proposing the annexation to the city of Salisbury of certain area of land contiguous to and binding upon the southerly corporate limit of the city of Salisbury to be known as John Deere Drive, Milford Street Association property annexation, beginning for the same time, for the same at, po at a point on the corporate limit, said point lying on the southerly right of way line of John Deere Drive, fence by and with the said John Deere Drive around the perimeter of lot 11 and lot 12, block A. Whereas the city of Salisbury has received a petition to annex dated March 15th, 2018, attached here to exhibit one, signed by at least 25% of the persons who are resident registered voters and of the persons who are owners of at least 25% of the assessed valuation of the real property in the area sought to be annexed binding upon the southerly corporate limit of the city of Salisbury to be known as John Deere Drive Milford Street Association property annexation beginning for the same point on the corporate limit said point lying on the southerly right of way line of John Deere Drive being all of lot 11, lot 12, block A, and whereas the city of Salisbury has caused to be made a certification of the signatures on said petition of annexation and has verified that the person signing the petition represent at least 25% of the persons who are eligible voters and property owners owning 25% of the assessed value of real property in the area to be annexed, all as of August 23rd, 2018, and as Wilmore participate appear by the cert certification of Les Shirell, surveyor of the city of Salisbury attached here to exhibit two. And whereas it appears that the petition dated March 15, 2018 meets all the requirements of law. And whereas the public hearing is scheduled for uh, this evening, May 11th, 2020 at 6 p.m. Thank you, Ms. Glanz. Any questions or comments, Mr. Boda? Uh, no comments. Ms. Jackson? No comments. Ms. Blake? No comments. Mrs. Gregory? No comments. Thank you. At this time, I'll open the public hearing. Uh, anyone who wishes to speak, please identify yourself to Ms. Glantz. No one has written anything in the chat. Um, thank you, Ms. thank you, Ms. Glanz. Um, at at that point, at this point, I'll call the motion. All those in favor of resolution number two eight seven five to approve the John Deere Drive Milford Street Associates property annexation, please signify by saying aye. Mr. Boda. Aye. Ms. Jackson. Aye. Ms. Blake. Aye. Mrs. Gregory? Aye. And the chair votes aye. The vote is five to zero. The resolution passes with a vote of five zero, which is unanimous. I'll entertain a motion to approve resolution 2876 to approve the John so Deere moved. Drive. Who is that? It was me, April. Second. Ms. Jackson made the motion. Mr. Boda seconded. Ms. Glantz, please read resolution number 2876. Resolution number 2876, a resolution of the city of Salisbury to adopt an annexation plan for a certain area of land contiguous to and binding upon the southerly corporate limit of the city of Salisbury to be known as John Deere Drive Milford Street Association property annexation, beginning for the same at a point on the corporate limit, said point lying on the southerly right of way line of John Deere Drive, fence by and with the 
said John Deere Drive around the perimeter of all of lot 11 and lot 12 block A, whereas the city of Salisbury is considering the annexation of a parcel of land contiguous to and binding upon the southerly corporate limit of the city of Salisbury beginning for the same at a point on the corporate limit said point lying on the southerly right of way line of John Deere Drive being all of lot 11 and lot 12 block A and being more particularly des described on exhibit A attached here to and part and made a part hereof and whereas the city of Salisbury is required to adopt an annexation plan for the proposed area of annexation pursuant to local government article of the Maryland Annotated Code and whereas the public hearing is scheduled for today May 11th 2020 at 6 p.m. Thank you Ms. Clance. Any questions or comments Mr. Boda? No comments. Ms. Jackson? No comments. Ms. Blake? No comments. Mrs. Gregory? No comments. All right, I'm now going to open the public hearing uh, on this resolution number 2876 to approve the annexation plan for John Deere Drive. Anyone wishes to speak, please identify yourself to Ms. Glantz. Hearing that there's none, I will now close the public hearing. I'll now call the vote on resolution number 2876. All those in favor of resolution 2876, please signify by saying aye. Mr. Boda? Aye. Ms. Jackson? Aye. Ms. Blake? Aye. Mrs. Gregory? Aye. And the chair votes aye. The vote is 5-0 unanimous. I'll entertain a motion to approve ordinance number 2592 for the first reading. So moved. Second. Ms. Jackson. Ms. Blake. Mr. Tillman, good evening. Good evening. One second. There we go. Uh, this is an ordinance of the city of Salisbury approving an amendment of the FY 2020 general fund budget to appropriate funds needed to cover the shortfall in the November 2019 elections budget. Whereas the city clerk's office received an estimate from the Wicomico County Board of Elections to administer and conduct the November 5th, 2019 city of Salisbury elections. And whereas the invoice amount for the services provided by staff on Wicomico County time was for uh, significantly more than the estimate received from the Wicomico County Board of Elections. Now, therefore, be it ordained by the City Council, the City of Salisbury, Maryland, that City's fiscal year 2020 general fund budget be and is hereby amended as follows with an increase in the current surplus available by $16,550 and an increase in the elections account by the same amount. Thank you, Mr. Tillman. Any questions or comments, Mr. Boda? Ah, we beat this horse pretty dead. <laughs> Thank you. Ms. Jackson? Definitely not. Ms. Blake? Well, I, I can agree that it's been a, an ongoing um, issue, but I do think that um, we could have and maybe should write the um, my comic uh, county council about it. Thank you, Ms. Blake. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Gregory? No comments. All right, uh, at this time I'll call the motion. All those in favor of ordinance number 2592. For the first reading, please signify by saying aye. Mr. Boda? Aye. Ms. Jackson? Aye. Ms. Blake? Nay. Mrs. Gregory? Aye. The chair votes aye. The vote is four to one. Mr. President? Yes. Mr. I was going to call on you, and I was also going to call on Ms. 
Senator Carosa. I understand that she's on the on the call with us. So, Mr. Mayor, why don't you go first? Well, I just wanted to speak to that uh, that last topic. Um, you know, I I just want to reiterate my concern that from a budgeting standpoint, um, when you know when we get uh, a budget estimate from the uh, uh, from the uh, board of elections, that it you know it, we trust that it's accurate. And um, this is a pretty pretty big discrepancy, and um, so I, I'd hope that uh, the next election, um, which again nothing significant will change, and nothing significant changed this time. Um, you know, hopefully, it would be the same from one year to the next, or one four year period to the next. Uh, so maybe perhaps we document this best we can in writing that. Uh, you know, we need to give a date and and maybe come to some terms with them beforehand and say, you know, any, any variation beyond a certain degree is going to be your responsibility to cover. I, I feel the same way you do, Mr. Mayor. It's been a very frustrating period of time for us, for sure. Um, Senator Carosa, I understand you're joining us. Would you uh, like to comment or make a few public comments? Good evening. I'm actually just in listening mode this evening. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you. This is our third one we've been on together today. That's right. <laughs> just don't want to miss anything, right? Well, well thank, you. thank you very much. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Julia, any, anybody else uh, request to talk? No, they have not. Okay. In, in that case, uh, please, everyone, um, this is like a broken record, but please donate blood. Um, please wear your mask when you're outside. Uh, I think we're getting close to some relief, hopefully. And um, just be safe. Take care, everybody. We are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you all.